One way to increase your home square footage is by creating fun outdoor rooms. We've got some stylish and functional design ideas to create beautiful outdoor spaces on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. One of the advantages of living in South Florida is our great year-round weather, which allows us to bring our living areas to the outside as well. Today we have expert advice on creating stylish outdoor living areas, the design versatility offered by modular seating, maximizing your spaces with multifunctional furnishings, and so much more. So we are here today at the Design Center of the Americas, otherwise known as Dakota, and we're visiting the Dadon showroom, joined by Dadon Regional Sales Manager, Alan Harris. Alan, welcome to Thank Simple you. Home Project. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, so we're excited because today is gonna to be about all things outdoor furnishings, and of course, the Dadon showroom is a wonderful place to start with that. Thank you. So we talk about outdoor spaces really being a continuation of the home, especially here in South Florida, right? Correct. I mean, it's really like our outdoor living spaces are also outdoor living rooms. Oh, yeah, definitely. A place to lounge, hang out, and just have a good time, invite your friends, your pets, and especially um, with the fabrics that we use, it's, you know, it's pretty much weather resistant, and a lot of people use that, as you know, interior as well because of that reason. Uh, it's kid friendly. Very durable. Pet friendly weather, especially, you know, South Florida with the rains and the sun and the salt. <laughs> we have a lot of things to think about when we it do. comes to uh, picking the right fabric and finishes. Exactly. <laughs> so speaking of finishes, we want to make sure that the furniture we're picking is meant to last. Yes. Daydon, um, we actually revolutionized the synthetic fiber 30 years ago. And the great thing about this fiber is it's a resin material, it's weather resistant, it holds up to the sun. Whether you're here in South Florida or you could be in the desert or in the cold weather, our fiber will actually hold up to all those environments. Wow, not only as you're explaining, it's quite durable in all of the elements, but it's also beautiful. I mean, that's another part of design. We want it to look good. Exactly, yeah. And a lot of people may not know, but with Dadon and our fiber, everything that we do is actually hand woven. So now we've talked about the fiber, sure. but we've also got some wood pieces, some teak here. Yes. Another material you guys make a lot of pieces with. Yeah, well, teak is kind of a newer introduction to us in the last couple of years, but it is very sustainable. It is meant to patina over time and silver, and it just enhances the beauty altogether. If you wanted to keep it the golden color, there are services out there that teak oil and they can seal it for you. That's great. But we did it so it would patina over so. time. Very nice. And then you'll see on the pieces, each piece on here is actually uh, powder coated aluminum. So underneath all the woven part of it, it is powder coated. So this helps enhance the durability. Oh no, that's great. And now, okay, so we've talked about our durable finishes, but like layout wise, yes. something like this, sort of an ideal classic living room setup. Correct. This is kind of gives you, you know, a great idea of how you can set up a space. With our product, we have individual collections within our own collection. And we are meant to pull different pieces together. Like this is our Thibaut collection. Uh, we have a couple of side tables from Dalla, but this is our daydream so day bed. Mix and matching all different pieces. Definitely. And we pull these colors together so that they, they can work all you know, cohesively. Well, they definitely play well together. And I just want to talk about this piece. Sure. This is an awesome piece. So we think about sofas, love seats, club chairs, you know, side tables and coffee tables. But this is one of those special outdoors. It is. But the best part is that you can lay up in there. It's almost like a twin size bed. This is super comfortable just to even sit in as a sofa type of a feel. But I'm imagining laying down, lounging, it's all great. Yeah, I think it's great for cocktails. It's great for just hanging out, reading a book. The cool, interesting thing about this piece is that if you take a look at the bottom, you cannot see where the two weavers met in the middle, and that's where it's no, it seamless. Almost. Very continuous and perfect. So this is a great, a great little day bed, super comfortable here. And then speaking of cushions, I, I love throw pillows, accent pillows. <laughs> this is the if you if you love them too, this is probably like the piece for your your outdoor space. It is. You could really pack on the pillows. Yeah, and you can do any sizes. So it doesn't have to be in the darker tones. It could be bright and cheery. It could be nice and neutral. It gives you a great opportunity yeah. to make a statement. When you're looking from the interior of your home, it kind of looks 
out onto the same space that is cohesive and is you know beautiful in the Florida sun. Absolutely. Well, I love this, but Thank we've you. got more fun pieces to see here in the showroom. We definitely and do. And so you're going to have to stay with us to check out what those are. Coming up, we have ideas for fun and fabulous outdoor spaces on SoFlo Home Project. It's a pleasure to announce the winner of Goya's Seasonings Greetings $500 gift card giveaway. It's Christopher James of Kendall. Congratulations, Christopher, and thanks for watching Zoflo Shows. Enjoy that $500. Because if it's Goya, it has to be good. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are continuing to talk about all things outdoor furnishings here at the Daydon Showroom in Dakota with Alan Harris, Regional Sales Manager with Daydon. So Alan, before the break, we took a look at some cool outdoor setups, pieces, talked about good materials that should be used for outdoors, and we happened to also see one great piece that really made a statement. But when it comes to statement outdoor furnishings, I think this behind us is it. What are we looking at? This is our nest dress. This was actually designed by Daniel Pouzet, and it is actually modeled after his inspiration from a bird's nest in Costa Rica. I mean, what a cool piece. This is our date on fiber. So since we do make this in Germany, we are able to control the extrusion, which means we can make it a bigger piece of uh, fiber, a smaller uh, texture, control the sheen on it as well. So this can be suspended from a beam or ceiling in the outdoor area? It can. We do have I-beams in our showroom, so we spoke to an engineer prior to this to make sure that the weight capacity would hold it. You would probably do uh, speak to an arborist if you want to do it with a tree, just to make sure the tree is oh, healthy. Wow. Okay. And now, if you were not going to have it suspended, is there a base? There is a base. It's not as fun and whimsical as the hanging portion. But there is a pedestal base. It does give you some rotation as well. You could put it by the pool. You could put it out in the woods. You could just create this kids clubhouse. That would be an amazing like, you know, place to hang out with. And again, with the fabrics, you can do any of the colors, a mix of pillows, just kind of make it your own. Correct, yes. And the same thing with the fiber. We have two color ways that it comes in. This is our most natural. And then the other one's more of an olive green, which kind of like takes you deep into the forest. Nice, and that's such a big color right now in home design, those greens, so it is. what a fun way to add a pop. What are your thoughts on really bringing in that one piece? I mean, I feel like even inside the interiors of a home, we talk about having that one statement piece. Believe it or not, some of our other swings, people have actually taken it interior also. I could see that as well, Because yeah. it is a statement piece, it's Absolutely. something everyone gravitates to wants to hang out in, there's a story behind it, there's a little romance. Well, this is a great piece, but we've got more for smaller spaces because while this takes up a large footprint in an outdoor space, sometimes you might have a balcony or terrace and want to make that look good too. Definitely. But before we do that, let's check in with our friends from USA Windows and Doors and see what great advice they have for us today. Hi, this is John with USA Windows and Doors. And I'm Mike, Vice President of Sales. And Mike, tell us today why most people don't have impact windows. Well, John, the truth of the matter is, is most people don't think they, they can afford it. With our financing options, anybody can afford to have this product in their home. First of all, we're gonna save you money on your cooling bills. We're gonna save you money on your homeowner's insurance. And you take those savings and put that toward the price of your windows, it almost pays for itself. And not to mention, it's also increased the property value. Is that right? That is absolutely true. Most real estate professionals will tell you that this increases the value of your home, making it more marketable and easier for you to sell. What are the other benefits of these impact windows? Well, John, the true benefits of having impact windows and doors in your home is number one, safety for your family. It's the hurricane protection, not just from the storm, but flying debris. Number two, break-in protection for your family. Number three, energy savings. 
there's a lot of heat that transfers in from the outside to the inside. With the low E energy efficient glass, you're reflecting that heat away from the home, again, saving the homeowner money on their cooling bill. And lastly, take advantage of here in the state of Florida, no sales tax on windows and doors. And this can add up to huge savings. Exactly, John, and to my point, anybody can afford Hurricane Impact windows and doors. Oh, I think the home looks fabulous now. I think that uh, the impact windows made a big difference. It quieted the house down a lot from the outside noise. I think our air conditioning system is running a lot more efficient now with the impact windows. And my wife and I are very happy with the look and we're very happy with the end result. If you're ready to upgrade your windows, call USA Windows and Doors today. Or visit our website at usawindowsanddoors.com. Don't forget, anyone can afford Hurricane Windows and Doors. Alan, I love this setup. I mean, we're talking about maybe smaller scale pieces for terraces and balconies, things that you might not have room for something so large, but this looks like it fits the bill. It's beautiful. It is. It's something that we can use. It's easily movable. It doesn't block the view. Um, a couple of people can sit on one chair or the ottoman. I love the colorful aspect of it. And as you can see, even though they're not matchy-matchy, they all still kind of work together within the space. In a smaller space, this is nice. You might just have two of these with a little side table in between. And it doesn't take up that much space, but it gives that high elevated style. It does, and they're comfortable and user-friendly and, like you said, functional. It's all about beauty and function and design, right? It is. Now, speaking of function, we need somewhere to eat whenever you have a small balcony or terrace. We have a couple of bistros, which are great for balconies too. Uh, smaller scale chairs, easily stackable, movable for what, you know, what we don't want to talk about hurricanes right, and we, tropical storms. Right, but we got to address it when picking out their furniture. We so do. I'm glad you brought that up. So they can actually be easily transitioned into the home and put away. This has been such a fun journey through the show where I'm looking at Fun pieces, functional pieces, beautiful pieces. I want to thank you, Alan. No, thank you so much. No, it's been a lot of fun. Coming up next, enjoy design freedom with the versatility of outdoor modular furniture on SoFlo Home Project. SoFlo Home Project is sponsored in part by El Dorado Furniture. Looking to refresh your home? Visit us online at eldoradofurniture.com or a showroom near you. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Alina Capra, and we are continuing our day here at Dakota, the Design Center of the Americas, talking about all things outdoor furnishings. So now we're going to check out a few more of the current trends. So now we're here at the Gloucester showroom, joined by studio manager, Barbara Siciliano. Barbara, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you so much for having us, Elena. Well, this is gonna be great because we have been touring and talking about outdoor furnishing trends all episode long. So I wanted to kind of start with where we're at here, Barbara, and talk a little bit about modular furniture because I feel that is a very big trend. It is, absolutely. You can do so many combinations. You can make it a seating like this great. to you know, seat four, or you can make it to expand the entire patio for up to 10 or 12 or how many people you would like to entertain. No, that's great because you can make it whatever you need it to exactly. be. Exactly, and you can pull up an ottoman to make a chaise or an extra seating and it just gives you so much functionality for your space. Yes, I love the function of modular pieces, outdoor, indoors and out, really. Yes. Yes, because here in South Florida, we have the ability to bring the indoors out. It is another living space yes. for us down here. It definitely is. I mean, it should feel like a living room. This feels like a piece you could have in an indoor space. Yes. So Barbara, behind you, I'm seeing a great little kind of table extension to this modular piece. So for this piece, the table's built in. And this table, this is, you can put this in other places. So this is, again, easy to move around to whatever configuration you need. Definitely, you can place it at the end to expand a section or you can use it as a coffee table. Oh, that's another great thing. So that's the, it's all about the convenience of things that can be easily moved. And speaking of things that can be easily moved, I wanna talk about this. This is great. Our outdoor lighting, um, solar charged, 
on the top, oh, nice. but you also have the option to charge it manually if, in case you have a few cloudy days and just bring soft lighting to your environment. That's such a nice way to really kind of give that ambiance. You know, we talk about having the right furniture set up is one thing, but it's those accents that also bring it all together. Absolutely. I love that you could really bring that into a space and kind of set the tone with the lighting, both whether it's a floor lamp or something a little lower as well with the lantern or the table lamps. Yes. I want to talk a little bit about materials here. In Gloucester, I'm seeing, of course, there's a lot of teak. Gloucester has been making teak furniture for 60 years, and we were sustainable before sustainability was a buzzword. It just is part of our core brand, and we manage everything from a seedling to a full-grown teak tree. Then then becomes our beautiful furniture. Wow, and speaking of, I want to talk about this because this is a great combination of teak and of course some other material. Mixed materials are fantastic. You can use, it just softens everything. Oh, yeah. The rope and the outdoor fabrics, which have come such a long way. Yes, I am a big fan of outdoor fabrics and also to use them yes. indoors. Yes. So, I mean, this just looks beautiful, comfortable, sophisticated. So I wanna also mention the layered, you know, little tables here. In indoor furnishings, we are seeing that a lot as the coffee table, so out there being no different? Correct, correct. And again, just the functionality of being able to move them for different to different places as well. Yeah, I love that there's a little sheen. Is this a ceramic base? Ceramic base, weighted, of course, because of our winds yes. that can <laughs> pop up out of so anywhere. So these could go on a balcony 20 stories up. Yes. As well as maybe on a, at an oceanfront home. Absolutely. But these are very subtle colors, which yes. are nice, and also trending colors. Yes. Absolutely, the gray is still a thing. I know, I love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Never going anywhere. <laughs> gray is still here to stay. People love gray. Gray is a great neutral. But what's been added to that is the addition of the warmer tones. So I love the neutral feeling here, and I, we've got more to talk about. We're gonna talk about dining tables and all other great ways you can enjoy a meal on beautiful outdoor furniture, so stay with us. Next, maximize your outdoor dining spaces for lots of guests on Sofa Home Project. back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Alina Capra and we are continuing our tour of all things outdoor furnishings here at Dakota in the Gloucester showroom with studio manager Barbara Siciliano. So Barbara, we have seen modular furniture before the break, but now we're looking at furniture that's built in one big piece. This table's incredible. What am I looking at here? This is our deck dining table, and believe it or not, this is the middle size of these three pieces. Wow. This is 144 inches and will seat 12. I mean, this is truly maximizing seating. It is, it is. And you know, you can also see again, we talked about the mixed materials as well. Yes. Um, so you can see all the chairs. So like, of course, picking the right dining chair, all of these suitable for outdoors. All of them. Again, we're mostly teak, but we do have our ropes and our weaves to create the mixed material. Very nice. And that's such a nice point because when people are choosing the right dining chair, sometimes you don't want it all to be so matchy-matchy and you want to bring a little character. So this, you know, looking at different seats right here just paired with this beautiful table, you could give so many different design styles and looks yes. with just changing up the chair. So on the floor here at the studio, I'm also seeing some beautiful ceramic tops on the tables. Another material that also trends well current times. Absolutely. So we, you, you have the option for both. The teak wood sort of, you know, enhances the nature around. Like it just blends but beautifully enhances. Going with maybe some of the ceramic tops, maybe contrast bolder with that. Yes. So you have a good options of design. Absolutely. And, and again, everything flows together. And teak has been used in furniture making for 700 years. So it is made to withstand the elements. It has the highest oil content. It is made for outdoor. We love it. But now about the accent lighting on the table, these little lamps here are so cute. So are these all chargeable solar lamps? Yes, they are. Um, the solar panel is in the top, but you can take it out and charge it 
if you have so a few easy. cloudy days, then pop it back in. And these are so cute. What kind of material is this made out of? It looks like stone, but I'm assuming it might not be stone. You are looking at a stone base that is weighted, so you have you don't have to worry about the wind, and then powder coated wow. aluminum lampshade. They are so, they're so adorable. I love them, and I feel like ha enjoying a great meal and kind of having them throughout the table just to, to light everything up so nicely. It'd be so perfect. It is perfect soft lighting. Doesn't block your view from other people across the table from you, and just really elevates your space. Exactly, such a great look. I love that. So we have seen a lot, and this has been really great to learn about the latest trends and how teak and some other mixed materials really make for a beautiful outdoor space that still brings a neutral feel and very organic. Very organic and very natural. Well, I want to thank you. This has been great. We got to learn and see a lot and get some beautiful design inspiration for the outdoor spaces. So thank you. Thank you, Elena. It's been a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks. And now let's take a look at what design inspiration we have for you next week on SoFlo Home Project as we take things back indoors for your home decor. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, bedrooms don't always get the decorating attention they deserve. We tour some amazing themed design suites that we hope will inspire you to create your own modern retreat. And before we go, let's check in with our friend Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he's up to tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? Hey there, Elena. I'm relaxing at an art class, and you can find out why I'm using the back of the brush if you join us tomorrow. And then we'll get in on America's fastest growing sport, which is pickleball. And if you're doing dry January, we've got low ABV options and mocktails just for you. It's all right here tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. on the one and only Local 10 for SoFlo Health. Thanks, Hunter. That sounds great. We will definitely be watching. And to our viewers, we thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you again next week for another all new episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you missed any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloShows.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.